Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and I'm really excited to bring you guys my castle build this time. So here we are at the front gate. There's only one entrance to this place, and this is the, the entrance here. Now, the castle is full of elite heavy troopers. That's mainly who's stationed here. Um, they don't do much training or anything on me or anything here it's mostly just where they can relax and be stationed ready for missions to be called out and stuff like that so before we head on inside we have a few things to show that building there I'll get to when we enter if we turn to our right here we have the docks now it made total sense to me to have a big dock in this place because Spectacle Island is right there and they have no other way of getting resources over to Spectacle Island. And also many other settlements in the Commonwealth. So we have rowboats, we have fishing boats that have been fixed up. We have a warehouse here where they can store supplies that are incoming and that they're going to send out this as well. Unit is currently in factory default mode. Do you wish to enable this unit remaining? We have tugboats here mode. for mostly just sending out supplies and bringing supplies in. The fishing boats they do use for fishing. And the rowboats are just for light personnel and stuff like that. We do have beds on them for if they're on a long journey. Okay, we'll go into the warehouse. In here, the Minuteman radio. So in here, there is not too many weapons. There are some weapons here, which will be transferred into the settlement soon, into the armory. But for now, they're just stored in here. Uh, mostly just junk and scrap in here. That's coming from other settlements. Here we have lots of gas. We have some teddy bears <laughs> doing a little scene. There's an Easter egg for you guys. So yeah, mostly just scrap in here and stuff like that. And then in, in here is the office. Where they can file away um, imports, exports, stuff like that. Some lockers for the workers. Lots of Minuteman propaganda around. In my world, the Minutemen aren't very authoritarian. They're pretty chillaxed. Just as long as everyone does their job and, and are friendly, they're, they're happy with you. Turrets along the walls all around. There's a fishing boat there that's got some fresh, fresh fish just in. Now this settlement has 28 settlers, but the settlers don't roam around out here, which is a bit sad, but oh well. Okay, heading on around here, we will see the water treatment plant, which we'll get a closer look at after. There's the prig one. around here now it made sense to me that settlers would want to settle close by to the castle as it's so heavily fortified that they would feel very safe and they are very safe so there's Carla there who just brought a ramen in and doing some trading with these guys so yeah some settlers have settled down here and um, they do some farming for the soldiers and stuff like that some fishing and all that stuff. They also are kind of like the militia. So in my in my game, there's the Minuteman army, which are specially trained and equipped soldiers. And then there's the militia, which are like, well, just your everyday farmer who picks up a laser musket and will defend need to get the Minuteman and what they believe in. City one of these days. So there's here's the, the entrance to the little saw. little settlement town here. Traders are welcome. So 
So this is pretty ragtag. Put together, but they're safe. They're happy. They have some farmland oh, and, ain't been up and to fishing land. Garden. You should go. Whole place is run by robots. And here we have a nice, cozy little little house. I can look out onto the the lake here. Nice bathtub on the lake. Honestly, I wouldn't mind coming here and, and having a bath. That would be quite nice. So they have not a massive field, but just some crops here and there. Compost area. Up here here where they can take the boat out and do some fishing. And they also have some fish nets there where they catch lots of, lots of fish. In here is the community eating area where the community can come and have their meals and get together and chat. Up here is the toilet for these guys. Nice and private. Open air. Gets <laughs> doesn't keep the smell trapped in. And then there's some shacks for people to live in. I didn't want to decorate these too much because I didn't want the frames to to get too bad because I wanted most of the decorating to be inside. But yeah, I really did want to add add a little town out here. Just made a lot of sense that like if if the Minuteman had their army in here and it was all fortified and and safe from raiders, of course, you know, the the whole point of the Minuteman is to protect the people of the Commonwealth. So of course they're going to let people settle down close by and and work together. So, we're back around. It's like Dark Souls. <laughs> back around to the front. Well, they have some beach chairs here they can chill out on. Water. Um, stuff there where they can get some purified water. And then here's a guard here. This is the main road where traders come in from. Well, not traders, but people that are going to go into the castle will come in from this road. He's keeping an eye on that. So you come up here. If you're allowed to enter, you will deposit all your weapons here because we're not going to let you bring any weapons in if you're going to meet the general or any other Minuteman officials. You have to deposit your weapons here. This guy will take them off you and... File them away, and when you leave, Identity you can get them. This unit is ready to serve. So he's got everything stored in here. Someone's got to cry later. So no matter who you are, unless you're a soldier, even if you're the leader of a settlement or anything like that, you'll have to leave your weapons here. And they have a protector on here, just in case it will get a bit rowdy with it. So we'll head on inside. We've got the Minuteman statue at the front gate. Spotlight for night time. Oh, there's a Brahmin there. So this room's very sparse. It's like a, a just basically heavy laser turret. So if someone gets in here that shouldn't be in here, um, nothing's going to get destroyed if these laser turrets go off. Looks like we have a provision here. Good supply of clean water. Things would be pretty good. So here's the main courtyard. I wanted to keep this place as kind of just like a, just a garden area where people can come and chill out. Like I said, the soldiers here are basically just stationed here for, um, ready to be deployed on missions and, and operations. So we wanted to keep them happy and, and keep the place looking nice. Of course, we have the radio here. He's got lots of shade from the trees. I hope and a lady the here. Useful. Checking the... Yes? Making sure the machinery is working. So we'll start... Where should I start? There's so many places. We'll go... We'll do the top wall first. That kind of makes sense. So we'll go up the stairs here. And there's four of these protective buildings on the wall. They're kind of like, if we get attacked, they can come in here and 
be pretty safe. They can rearm and resupply. Plenty of weapons. And each one of the buildings has um, different a different purpose. So we have artillery on each corner except for one, which is a bird to bird landing pad. Entrances down into the castle. Nice view of the courtyard. So in here, this one's just weapon repair and armor repair. I didn't do much in this one. It didn't make sense to do much, to be honest. I couldn't really think of any reason to. It was, it's not storage. It's basically just a, pro <clears throat> a protective spot where they can see out and yeah, be safe from rockets, grenades, gunfire. And here's the vertebrate landing pad with a pilot there working on it. This one here is for the Protectron. Protectron pods for when they need repairing or anything like that. Maintenance. Another artillery here. And a view down onto the settlement. And in this one is the power armor. So we have four power armor stations. Some power armor being worked on. Plenty of fusion cores. So if we get attacked, they can come in here, jump in some power armor and, and wreak some havoc. artillery there. Guards keeping watch. And down here is the water treatment plant where the settlement gets its water. Frames do get a little bit choppy here and there, but that's okay. It's worth it. Here is where the general can come and sit down and have a cup of tea and chat with any, any officials out in the open air and talk about any Commonwealth problems or any plans. Just where the general can come and chat with the other Minutemen officials. Nice and open in the air. Keep some calm. Those heated discussions. <laughs> Another artillery here. These guys are in slightly lighter armor because they're loading up the artillery and, and all of that. But they do have their helmets on to brace them. Brace themselves from the fire. And this brings us back to the first one, which is just like a... It is in the armory of the settlement. This is just where they keep some extra weapons on the wall for easy access and they're getting attacked so I'll show you guys the real armory now which is over this side of the courtyard plenty of soldiers safe stationed here and pilots and workers and stuff like that in here is the armory we have Ronnie there she kind of looks after the armory it's her job down there leads to the bottom tunnels. And here's the armory. Lots of, <laughs> lots of supplies here. This is basically the main armory for the Minutemen. The biggest armory that they have is here. Fat man ammo. Pretty much anything, even Radex there. Weapon parts, grenades, files. A planning table here. Mini nukes, artillery shells. Another planning table. A mini nuke assembly kit over here. Because, you know, we need to be able to assemble the, the ones that come in these crates. Ammo, just a massive stockpile of military equipment with a bit of a Minuteman vibe of course got to keep that Minuteman 
freedom vibe rolling. <laughs> so yeah, Ronnie, make sure that's all in order. And if anything needs to be taken to any operations or settlements, well, they have the ports, they have Brahmin caravans. So we will start over this side. Nothing to report. Stay safe, people. So there's the workbench there. Come in here, we just have some supply storage here. Food, water, stuff like that for the soldiers. And we will go this way here. We have some statues, cannons, just like a nice little corridor room here. Has real castle vibes with the a really pun me a bit burpy today. I really wanted to get some night armors fitted fitted. I'm saying that word a lot lately. <laughs> Fit in um to the castle, you know. I've been playing a bit of The Witcher 3 and the Nilfgaardian Castle with the... Anyway, I'm rambling, but yeah. Armors in castles makes sense, right? <laughs> Here we have a spot where the soldiers can relax and have some beers and chat with each other. Just a relaxed room for them. Keeping that Minuteman vibe and kind of clean, but still um, post-apocalyptic look. Over here is the power room, where all the power of the settlement comes from. And of course, this leads up to the wall here, where we come out into We're the in artillery. Some real here. And here's a nice view of the dock I could give you guys quickly. I really like how this dock turned out. I've You don't see many um, docks like this in the game that... Uh, you know, built up, except for Far Harbour really, but none this large, and I just think it, it just looks so nice. And it just fits the castle in so many ways, it just made so much sense that they would have a dock here, or a port, I should say. And I just finished my King's, King's Port build, um, which you guys can check out as well, and that's another another um, navy kind of place for the Minutemen. Now this here is very, very bland, very Spartan, and that's done on purpose. This is a military bunk house, so it's basically just what they have. There's a burnt magazine here, which someone was hoping would have some material material on there to entertain them, but no, there is not. So yeah, this is just completely Spartan, and as you'd expect for a military... Um, Military bunkhouse. So moving on. Try to keep things moving. I don't. I know. You know you don't want to stay too long on on one thing. Just keep things moving for you guys. Always pause the video if you want to take a closer look. So here we have I the clinic. You up if you need it. In here, where the soldiers can get patched up or whoever really, even just a minute man. Um, anyone from the Minutemen that are in here and need medical treatment, they can come here. Here we have the secretary's office, who's currently not here. She is in the yeah. settlement. She's wearing a black suit, but she's the the general secretary. He's a general here. She's a bit of a hands-on girl. <laughs> she likes to get out there and do it all herself. So she doesn't spend too much time in her office. So yeah, there's the um, there's the secretary's office. We have the general's quarters here, being guarded by an elite trooper and a protectron. This unit is currently we have some waiting chairs if people are waiting to see the general. And here we have oh, those robots never shut up, man. I tell you, they drive me nuts. <laughs> um, here we have the general's quarters. So we have the main desk here where they they can do their their work. The general's outfit. Stealth boy, a hot chocolate there. I think that's a hot chocolate, something like that. I don't know. I don't, uh, looks kind of like a hot chocolate. Some uh, propaganda of other settlements. So we have Sanctuary Hills. Propaganda, I don't know about that. Posters, pictures, whatever you want to call it. Really, I loved this bed suited the general's quarters so much with the the frame around. I wish it had curtains though. 
God, I only just thought of that. You know what? I should have put curtains on that. <laughs> Even when I'm doing my, my tours, I'm still thinking of new ideas. I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, yeah, I think this settlement's done. I can't think of anything else to do. And then I... And I go to film the video and go, oh, wait, let me just, let me just do this, let me just do that. And then now, even filming the video, I'm getting ideas. You know what? In the future settlement, I might have to put curtains around that. That'd look nice. Or I might not. Anyway, I I'm rambling. <laughs> Here we have a shelf of just things, for the general. Little desk over here, little side desk where they can do some writing. Write notes to other settlements and... Stuff like that. Or if they're talking, let's say there's a Minuteman official sitting down here and they're talking to them and they can write um, anything really. Shipment, inquiries, stuff like that. Anything that a functioning society in the post-apocalypse would need. Nobody has enough to eat. Can't you do something to help? I don't know why my settlers always whinge about water and food because every settlement is sufficient with food and water. I think it's bugged because I've had this save going for so long that the settlers just, yeah, they're bugged. Here we have a little communication center where they can communicate with other settlements. So if you guys have seen my sanctuary build, you'll know the HQ there has uh, communication as well. So let's say yeah. the sanctuary is getting attacked. Well, they need, um, they're out of, they're running low on ammunition or something like that. They can contact the castle, load up a vertebrate and fly it over there. That's just an example of what, what could happen, but... Yeah, so a little communication room here. Kind of divided off a little bit. And for reference, this is where we are in the courtyard. Beautiful god rays coming through, the sun's just going down. What is the time? 6.19pm. That's perfect, because by the time I'm done, I'll be able to show you guys a quick nighttime tour as well. Here's the food storage and drinks. Kind of like the pantry. Yes. Pretty, you know, um, it's not the best spot for it, but they don't have the biggest space because as we can see over yes. here, the lots of the castle has been rubbled in and fallen down on itself, so I had to make do with what they had. And here's like a smoking, chilling out coffee room. I like a break room, I guess. It's not the, the kitchen and the cafeteria, but if they just want to have a coffee and chill out for a minute on their breaks they can come in here or they can have um, Minuteman officials can come in and, and chat with each other and stuff like that yeah. if you out here onto the water treatment this is a, a lady here that works on the water treatment plant just reading a public occurrences that leads back up to the top walkway heading on in here we have the cafeteria for the, the people that, that are stationed here at the castle. There's an open kitchen here. And plenty of spaces. 4, 8, 12, 16. I think there was 16 beds in that room over there, so that kind of worked out perfect. So there's the cafeteria. And I think it's becoming night time. Yep, it is. So I'll just wait for a couple of hours on this bench to get it completely dark and then I'll do a, a run around to show you guys what it looks like at night time. Because, you know, I, I think the, the tone really hits different with this game at night time. I think they did a good job with the lighting and compared to other Bethesda titles, they definitely upped the lighting. Volumetric lighting, I think they yes. call it. So we have the spotlight at the main gate here. The, uh, it's, what would you call that? Like the weapon check-in area there. That's all lit up. The port here is lit up nicely with um, lanterns, warehouse. started running low on oil so if I was to light up these as well man <laughs> I did not have enough I had to paint all the armor of the dudes I was I was scraping by with my oil I did run out at one point I had to to um do a lot of buying 
buying oil shipments off her trash can Carla but she's not always around so but she is here right now so these guys have a nice fire here to keep everyone warm there's a building over there where they attacked the we started the attack back on the the castle and I don't think this thing's gonna fall ever again we've got it pretty well set up you know, the Minutemen are definitely the uh, strongest power in the Commonwealth, but they're getting up there with the strongest power that we know of in the Wasteland. Once all the settlements are built up and, and we have everything set up, they'll be... Well, I don't want to piss off any Fallout fanatics, but they're probably going to be on par with, with the Brotherhood of Steel. Definitely. I know that would have pissed a few people off, which... Makes me happy because then a lot of people don't like the Minuteman. But the whole point of the Minuteman is you can make them whatever you want. That is the point. You know, people say that they're not even a faction. Well, if you don't use your imagination and create your own Minutemen, then of course. Anyway, I'm rambling again. I'm in a real rambling mood today. <laughs> but this will be my last video out before Christmas. So I just wanted to say Merry Christmas to everyone. I didn't do any Christmas themed stuff in this. I, If you want to see some Christmas themed stuff, there is a room um, in my Tenpenny Tower Abernathy Farm build. Because I didn't know if I was going to get one out after uh, before Christmas and I ended up getting two builds out before Christmas. So. Now I don't know what settlement will be next. I say this every time, but I truly don't. I work on a settlement. I finish it. I chill out for a couple of days and, and come up with ideas and then whatever connects I, I end up going with. I might end up running a poll on the community tab, we'll see. Not too sure, not too sure. But anyway, I think, I think I've shown just about all there is to show. So I wanted to thank everyone for watching. We will go into free cam here at the end to show you guys a nice bird's eye view of the place at night time so yeah thanks everyone for watching i really appreciate it i hope you guys enjoyed this settlement and got some inspiration for yourself if you did like it leave a like on the video it means a lot um if you're new subscribe uh, if you want to check out any of my other videos i have a playlist with all my settlement tours that you guys can check out and leave a comment as well if you have anything to say i love hearing from you guys and chatting with the community so yeah thanks everyone for watching there's a beautiful Minuteman flag waving away and I'll see you guys in the next tour really happy with this one so hope you guys enjoyed it have a good day everyone and a good Christmas